After six months of using this incredible iTeraCare Classic device, I am here to give you my personal results. Hi, I'm Renee McLaughlin. I'm a certified health coach and a Prife distributor, and I'm also a bioresonance practitioner. And today, I just want to share all the incredible results that I personally have received from using this wand for six months. So this isn't a short one-time wonder, 15 minutes and oh my goodness, what could happen? What might you experience having used it on almost a daily basis for six months? That's what I'm gonna share with you in this video. But before I do, if you would, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go down, subscribe, ding that little bell, and then you're gonna be notified of all these videos that I love to share. So now let's get right to it. First of all, I just want to set a little bit of context so you know where I was before I started using it, and then you can understand my journey so far with the wand. All right, so number one, as of right now, I'm 64 years old, and so I am so lucky that at this point, I really don't have a lot of major health concerns. But at 64, living in this, you know, stressful society with all the toxicity and the water and the emotions and breathing the air and drinking the water and all that good stuff, listen, we all have symptoms, I'll just say that, of aging. And I had that as well. But nothing really major. Why did I then think it would be a good idea to get one of these wands and try them out? Well, one of my dear, dear friends, Cheryl Canarium, and thanks Cheryl for introducing me to this, she was actually having some issues with her arm. She was having trouble raising it. She heard about it. She got it, started having great results. And like we love to do when we find something that works, shared it with me. And I thought, well, heck, for 350 American dollars, I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm so glad that I did. So I got it, started using it the beginning of June of 2022. And um, what did I notice right away? Well, the first thing that I started to notice was that it really relaxed me. So I like to do my blowing, as we call it, in the evening. So after my day is done, I like to sit down and just start. And I love the feeling of that warmth. And let's face it, when we first get this and we turn it on, and it, it seems like it's just like a hairdryer, right? You hear this blow, you can feel the heat, you do see the blue light there, but it's kind of like, is something really happening? But I am very sensitive to energy, and as I started to feel that heat go deep into my body, into my bones, I could feel something really beautiful happening. So I had a faith knowing that there was something happening. In the beginning, I loved a feeling of the heat. I could feel it in my lower legs. I always start with the bottoms, the feet, and I kind of work up my legs, and I have poor circulation down there. So right away, I started to get more feeling, if you would, more heat into my feet. My feet aren't as cold. And then I just noticed that I just got this beautiful sense of relaxation. And since I was doing it at night, I noticed that my sleep was unbelievably deep. Now, I can't tell you that I have big sleep issues, but being um, an uh, uh, older, I can't believe I'm saying that, but an older female, we don't tend to get really good deep sleep that goes on and on. We tend to get up every few hours. We're sort of conscious and can go back to sleep. And all of a sudden, I was sleeping all the way through the night with this really um, rejuvenating sleep. So that was two things that I noticed right away. And I thought, well, if nothing else to help us with our sleep, that's amazing. Now, right away, I started blowing into my water and structuring that water. Cheryl was really clear with me, do the water, wand the water. So I was wanding the water. I have a big jug wanding it, and I used it all the time. And the next thing I started to notice pretty quickly was my skin started to get just really moisturized and smooth. Now, my kind of health condition nemesis, if you will, is my skin. I do get eczema and I have a tendency to get staph infections on my skin. So this was huge. And as those of us who are climbing up a little bit in those ages, especially as females, because that's what I can relate to, we do get very dry skin, right? We get dry skin, our hair starts to fall out. I almost like to say it's almost like we dry out from the inside out. 
And so all of a sudden, noticing this great, smooth, moisturized skin, that was huge. Um, and that happened pretty quickly. And I know it was from the water, drinking that water, getting that hydration deep into the body. The next thing I started noticing was that when I washed these curls and washed my hair, I would before get like really tons of hair coming out into my hands, like almost fistfuls. It was kind of scary. It's like, am I going to end up with no hair? And all of a sudden I noticed, and this probably took about two or three weeks, I was washing my hair one day and I'm like, wow, like I'm barely losing any hair. So over the time, my hair has started to grow and I have these little like hairs kind of coming up. I've seen other people say the same thing. My hair is growing. That was an unexpected surprise. So one of the things that I do want to mention is, um, you know, because I didn't have anything really major to kind of jet it on, I wasn't really, I didn't get the wand to help with this or that. So I tried to stay really open to noticing what else is just shifting and changing. So I encourage you to do that as well. You might have gotten your device because you wanted help with XYZ, and maybe you're not getting that specific result with XYZ, but keep noticing all the things that are happening because the body is always using this beautiful healing energy to shift and change according to its own priority of healing, not necessarily what it is that we got the wand for. All right, what was the next thing that I noticed? My eye floaters went away. Now, eye floaters are interesting because if you have them, you just at first you're like, what's that? Like you're kind of looking around in your eyes seeing these things. And then when you find out that that's what you have and they're not harmful, but they can be annoying, you just kind of get used to them. So I was outside taking a walk. I tend to notice mine more when I'm outside. And I just dawned on me one day, wow, I don't have my eye floaters anymore. And I've seen a number of people say the same thing. That was really fun. I love that. Now, one other thing that I noticed a little bit over time is that my elimination, which look, you know, most of us, if we've been on this planet for a while, probably don't have the best gut health for many different reasons. Um, mine as well, my gut health started to get really so much better, digestion better, elimination has shifted completely. And it is just, it's a beautiful thing. I won't get into it past that, but elimination has been terrific. Now, over the time, as I said, I've been doing it for six months, I just continue to notice things. Now, does that mean that every, all the time my healing, I'm just going to go like this, just keeps doing this? Not necessarily, because healing doesn't always happen like that from it, how it expresses in terms of symptoms, how, what we would call symptoms. So I would have things that would get better, and then it might dip a little bit. I might have a couple days, especially if I wanted a little bit longer one day, where I don't feel as good. Maybe I'm really tired. Sometimes, especially if I'm working up in my face, and by the way, when you want to do that, you do low heat, and don't do it for long. If you're doing it on your eyes, shut it. Um, I know that I had a lot of stuff in my sinuses over the years. So if I'm doing a little, a little longer than normal, sometimes I find the next day I have symptoms of having a cold. And I'm always like, how did I get a cold? I haven't been exposed to the virus. And then it dawns on me, oh, you know what? I did it a little bit longer up in my sinus cavity and I got symptoms. But see, I understand those as being positive. That's a sign of healing. My body is getting rid of something that should be not be there necessarily. So I love that. Even though I'm not all that happy that day that I have the symptoms, I understand that this is part of the healing process. So healing does not happen in a, in a one linear line going up. It can be up and then down a little and then up. So just understand that this is a process of healing, but you're constantly going up. Even if it's up, down a little bit, and then you'll 
come out to the next level and it feels just so good. What else have I noticed? Well, being um, a physical fitness trainer as well, you know, there are days that maybe my muscles are sore. Maybe I, I used some imbalance in some place and I might get some, some pain on one side, a pain on the other side, and I will wand. It's been amazing for that. Now, I will tell you, sometimes I have that pain in one side. I'll do a nice wand on there. It doesn't always just go away. Sometimes it will, but it doesn't always. But what I find is the next day I wake up and I don't have it anymore. So sometimes the body can take it and it takes a little bit of time in order for those frequencies to be absorbed and the body to rebalance. So that's just something else that I've noticed you might as well. So I try to not create too much story in my head about what all's going on. I just now have a complete understanding that does it work? It works. What does work mean? The body is absorbing those frequencies and it is using it to unlock blockages, move the stagnant lymph system, and allow your body to use the frequencies to really heal at every level. It heals you physically, emotionally, and maybe even spiritually. So I love it. If you've also been using it, go down and comment. I'd love to hear your um, results regardless of how long you've been using the wand. And I wish you a terrific day. Take good care.